pretty much self-explanatory. Boom! Easy to open it. Right there, as you can see, the piece of metal. So this is a cover, I guess. And I can close it like this. Push here to open. We don't need that sticker anymore. So this is what it's going to look like. I like it, that's pretty cool actually. So I gotta push here to open it. Whoa, a little crazy. So I gotta push here to open. Boom, simple. Push it back over here, fold it over. Kind of flimsy a little bit, but let's test it out, see what it's all about. You see it pushes down, so I gotta push this down and press it, see what happens. Got to scrape off all that stuff. Oh, here you go. You gotta heat it hard. Okay, I've got it going. You see, you wanna scrape off that black stuff, and then it's gonna spark well. Whoa, look how much hot stuff on it. This is amazing, one-handed. Whoa! Of course, my favorite coconut husk. Let's see how many times do I have to strike it to get that fire going? Hopefully just one time. Boom! Wow! Look at it, it's burning already. It's amazing. So all I have to do is just add pieces of sticks. The NanoSpark. It's the world's smallest self-contained fire starter that has the tinder belt right inside. This is our one-handed sparker, engineered the ExoTac way. Tinder can be found within the storage capsule. Use the NanoSpark to expand the surface area of the quick light tinder. Aim the NanoSpark towards the tinder, bend the flint wheel to light it. Today at CRKT, we are taking a look at the Spark and Sharp. This is a Tom Stokes design. What it is, is you've got a magnesium fire starter right there, and then you've got a knife sharpener right here, kind of your carbide knife sharpener. And uh, basically that works just like any other sort of sharpener of this style. You take your knife, run it through there, and it will sharpen it up. Now this is a field sharpener. It's not gonna put the best edge on your knife, but if you're in an emergency, it's definitely gonna do the job. Now, the other part of this that you need to know about is here's your magnesium fire steel, and uh, you're just gonna take this little pushy button here, and you're gonna push it the other direction. And when you push it that other direction, it's gonna open up, and you will see on this edge, there is um, a bevel there. And that's what you're gonna use to strike against the magnesium fire steel. So when you first pull it out of the box, there's kind of a, a coating on this fire steel, you're just gonna rub that off real quick. Get it off so that it's steel against steel there. And then it's gonna throw sparks. Watch me light the studio on fire. Would be entertaining. You gotta, gotta get the strings out of the way, get them in your hand like this, and uh, light sparks. Let me just make sure that doesn't catch fire. That would be an entertaining day here. Anyway, so it's a pretty cool mechanism because it puts everything that you need into one little package. Now keep in mind, this moves both ways, so to put it back, just give it a little push, 
and that will wear in a little over time as well. So it moves both ways and then it's in one convenient little package here and you can just put that there. Comes with this nifty little lanyard as well as your little lanyard pull here so that you can carry it with neck carry or however you'd like, strap it to your gear and it's gonna work great for you. So pretty cool little tool designed again by Tom Stokes. It's called the Spark and Sharp, only available from CRKT. Use birch bark and some small twigs as kindling. And gently pull apart another cotton ball to use as a catch for your sparks. Once you're ready to use fire set, scratch the black paint off of the ferro rod and set the ferro rod firmly against your cotton ball, then strike.